Yo, hey, what is up, my beautiful people? So today I want to talk about Corona beer. Now, it's no secret that I am a Corona beer connoisseur. Like, I enjoy drinking Corona beer. Um, if I go to the bar, you know, my go-to choice drink is Corona. And if I go to the liquor store, I tend to get like a six-pack or a 24-pack of Corona. And, you know, I just enjoy Corona in general. And I also know that there's a lot of people out there that think that Corona beer tastes like shit. It tastes like piss. Whatever, man, I get it. You know, it's your preference. But like I said, my favorite beer is Corona, and that's my preference. I'm Mexican-American. Both of my parents are Mexican, so you know, I always saw my family drinking Corona and after I turned of age, after I turned of age, I started drinking Corona and yeah, I just enjoy it. I think it's a good beer, especially if you put like a little bit of sal and a little bit of limon, you know, salt and lemon. It's the spot, man. So why am I talking about it? Well, see, the thing is, after I went to Japan for the first time, when I went to go travel over there, you know, I started drinking like the Japanese beer, like the, the local stuff, um, in Sapporo specifically, you know, there's Sapporo beer, but in Hokkaido, only in Hokkaido, the where Sapporo is located, the prefecture, only in Hokkaido can you buy the Sapporo Classic beer. So when I was in Sapporo, that was my go-to beer. You know, I would always drink the Sapporo Classic, the classic, because you can only buy it in Hokkaido, so you gotta enjoy it while you're there right but one thing that i noticed about like just being in japan in general is how popular corona beer was now i'm not saying that like you know if you go to like an import beer store or if you go to the liquor store in japan you can find corona here in the states too you know if you go to like the liquor store import beer store or whatever you're gonna find beer from all over the world no what i'm saying is that in japan corona is a popular beer you go to the bar you go to the clubs you go to restaurants and corona is gonna be on the menu now for me that blew my mind a beer from Mexico that came from Mexico is popular in Japan. Um, it's something I didn't really expect. Now the popular beer in America is Bud Light or Budweiser. In Japan, I never saw any Bud Light or Budweiser like on the menu. Like if you want to get some American Bud Light, Budweiser, you got to go to the import store in Japan. Sometimes, occasionally, you would find Bud Light and Budweiser at the bars, but I rarely saw it. You know, you would see it, but I like personally, I didn't really see it that much. Now Corona beer, on the other hand, when I went to the bars in Japan and and the clubs, you know, I would see Corona signs and it will always be on the menu. Like that's how popular it was. So I always, like when I was in Japan and I would go drink, I would always, you know, drink a Corona or I would drink like the Sapporo Classic beer because, you know, I'm in Sapporo. But in Japan, my go-to was the Sapporo Classic because it was like way, way cheaper and Corona was a little bit more expensive because, you know, it's an import brand. So how popular was it? Well, one time I did go to the bar by myself and there wasn't that many people. It was only like five people in the bar, you know, so I, I was a little bit early. So I went in and I ordered a Corona and when I turned around I was kind of looking for a place to sit down I turned around and every single person every single Japanese person in the bar had a Corona in their hand <laughs> so it just kind of shows like how popular the beer is over there and you know it kind of made me feel good you know seeing Japanese people enjoy Corona as much as I do yeah it's a good beer and if you do go to Japan and go to a bar or a club you will notice that they do advertise Corona and it is on the menu just really nice to see overall and yeah so one thing that I I guess I, that I came across is I went to like a Japanese izakaya and you know I sat down at the izakaya ordered my food and then I looked to the side and there was an advertisement and when I saw the advertisement I'm like huh I have never ever tried that before what was it corona lemonade let that sink in corona lemonade here i am at a japanese izakaya in japan and i see this advertisement for a corona lemonade so what do i do i order one and pretty much it's like a margarita and you have like the small coronita on the top so it was like that but it was lemonade with corona like filling up the lemonade and the combination of corona and lemonade i have it has never ever crossed my mind but when i drank it wow it was tasty man it was one of the tastiest drinks i've ever drank and it, I, I was just surprised i'm like very simple combination corona and lemonade and why didn't I ever think about it? So, I mean, it was really tasty. I ordered another one. Now, I was just kind of surprised seeing like, you know, a Japanese restaurant doing that, you know, advertising like a mixture of Corona and lemonade. Good advertisement, good beer, and a good mixed drink. So one day, you know, I, was, I went to a bar and it was a bar that wasn't in the city. It was like in the middle of a neighborhood in my neighborhood that I was living in Japan. So it was close to my neighborhood. And the thing about my neighborhood is like, there isn't really any izakas or bars. So it's kind of like, I guess, in the outskirts of town in a way, I guess. Anyways, every time I went downtown, I always walked by this bar
part like I would go to the subway that would take me downtown but right next to the subway there was this bar right so the thing about this bar is that it was a Mexican bar like it, it advertised itself as a Mexican bar now I always walked by it but I never went inside because I never saw any people so I mean I was kind of like it's probably not that popular so I walked by it and then one day I'm like you know what I'm just gonna go inside because it's always open but I never see any people so anyway I went inside and I started talking to the bartender and you know because I was kind of curious about the bar and I talked to him in Japanese because he spoke absolutely no English so I was talking to him in Japanese trying to ask him like you know why did he open up a bar with the Mexican theme while we were talking you know a couple more people walked in it was just like four of us you know it was like the bartender and like two other guys two other Japanese guys so I was talking to the bartender and he pretty much told me that the reason he opened a Mexican themed bar is because he traveled to Mexico when he was younger and he really loved the Mexican culture and the country of Mexico and he really liked like how different Mexico and Japan are from each other you know completely different cultures completely different countries but he really loved it over there so he decided to open up a Mexican bar in Sapporo so anyway he's telling me this stuff and I asked him like oh dude do you guys have like any do you sell Corona beer here and of course he did you know so he brought me a Corona and you know I started drinking it the other two Japanese guys that walked in they were already drinking their Corona so they ordered before me and they were like it was their choice to order a Corona so I ordered my Corona so me and the bartender keep talking and then he starts talking to the other two Japanese guys and you know I guess they're all friends and then he tells the other two Japanese guys like oh yeah this guy right here like you know he's Mexican American you know his family's from Mexico so he knows he knows all about Mexican culture and then then we started I started talking to them and all, all of us started talking and normally when they gave me my Corona like in Japan they either give you your Corona with a lime or a lemon like it's always like uh, I guess like random and all my real people out there know that you should be drinking it with the, the green lime not the yellow lemon I mean, that's how you drink it so anyway um, he gave me my Corona with the lime the green lime and you know I'm enjoying it and then I asked him do you have any salt and he's like salt and I'm like yeah he's like what do you want salt for and I'm like so I could put it in my beer he's like what and I'm like yeah like that's how you drink Corona you know you have some salt and lime and you just uh, put it in there and you know you enjoy it like that you know it tastes way better and he's like wait 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 hold up a minute and the other two Japanese guys are like yeah yeah wait hold up a minute what you mean you're putting salt in your beer and I'm like yeah man all of these guys are kind of like kapsh, kapsh, kapsh. And they're like why would you do that and I'm like dude if you go to Mexico I told them if you go to Mexico everybody and their mom in Mexico is gonna be drinking Corona with the lime and salt that's how you drink it that's the way to do it all these guys over here are just looking at me like I'm a crazy man and I'm like guys guys I've been to Mexico I grew up in Mexican culture I know what I'm talking about so anyway they see me put like a little bit of salt in my Corona and then sprinkle the lime and then I drink it and I'm like no that's how that's how you do it that's how you do it so they were curious you know I mean they they always drink the Corona with lime or lemon I guess and so they were curious and they put some salt in there too and they tasted it and they're like oh that's that's huh like, that's not bad like what that's a, like a, like a revelation dude like an epiphany <laughs> so anyway um you know we continue conversating you know they asked me about mexico they asked me about america they asked me about my family and you know it was a good conversation none of them spoke english but you know i spoke my japanese and i was really surprised because i was able to maintain a conversation with them for like two hours and my japanese skills are horrible but if we are able to, like i am able to talk to them like yeah i'm talking like a baby like a preschooler but we were still conversating sometimes I did get lost in the conversation but most of the time I followed what they were saying they followed me what I was saying it was a good conversation overall and I guess what I'm saying is man yeah Japanese people do love the Corona beer and it is popular in Japan there are restaurants that create their own little Corona mixed drinks like Corona lemonade and one thing that Japanese people from the people that I talked to is that yeah they drink the Corona beer with lemon or lime like it's usually is random but they still haven't brought salt into the mixture I guess which is something new for them well from what i experienced when i talked to those you know random japanese dudes so yeah i mean <laughs> i guess that's all i want to say on videos you know just talk about corona beer and japan and yeah if you guys ever do go you will notice the beer like it's they sell it everywhere um and yeah i guess that's all i wanted to say thank you for watching you know if you enjoyed the video drop a like and if you didn't enjoy the video drop a dislike let me know how i can improve subscribe if you're interested if you're not that's cool too and yeah I'll talk to you guys in the next one all right peace out